Former Hawaii Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard has been tapped by President-elect Donald Trump to be the Director of National Intelligence. It's a role that carries massive implications for U.S. diplomacy and military action. Bryce Moore reports. The role of Director of National Intelligence, or DNI, is massive, according to local military experts. If you look at the pyramid with regards to chain of command, DNI sits at the top of it, so effectively even the director of CIA. So uh, I find it all very, very interesting. The heads of the Central Intelligence Agency, Federal Bureau of Investigation, and National Security Agency will all report to Gabbard if she's approved by the Senate. Experts with a nonpartisan think tank say directing national intel is a multifaceted role. Their primary job is to sort of herd cats. There are 18 different intelligence organizations in the U.S. government, most important being the CIA, the Defense Intelligence Agency, DIA, NSA, National Security Agency. Now, if confirmed by the Senate, Tulsi would gain access to information that no everyday American citizen could ever dream of laying their eyes on. But experts say that she won't be in a decision-making role. Her job will be to provide information to the president and other members of his inner circle and let them choose what to do next. If the, the DNI or the head of CIA or the head of DIA is going in to tell the president you should bomb here or you should bomb there, they're way out of their mandate. Anytime you take somebody from Hawaii um, and put them on the national stage like that, we've had very, very few people be able to do that. I think it's terrific. Wherever you sit uh, politically, it doesn't matter. I think you have to champion somebody that is that articulate, that good at what she um, that's my opinion. The intelligence community is to say, here's the threat, here's what they're capable of, here's what they're going to do, and then the decision makers make that decision. The last Hawaii-born appointee in a comparable position in a presidential administration was Eric Shinseki, who served as Barack Obama's Veterans Affairs Secretary from 2009 to 2014. Bryce Moore, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.